So I had debated for a little bit on whether or not to do this video because the point of it is not to promote exploiting the game. I do not want people to exploit the game because I don't want to make it a less enjoyable experience for other people. However, this bug is a little bit of an exception in that it really doesn't do anything to give you an advantage over other players. It's just kind of something you can experience that you're not really supposed to. There's a good reason behind it though. A lot of the city is underdeveloped and that's because uh, the current way the city is rendered is really hard on our computers and so a lot of it's going to be undetailed for those sections you can't actually land on and walk around to. So when you do use this bug, I have to warn you that it's not going to be maybe how you imagined it. It's just kind of the reality of creating a city like this in a video game. Once again, I do not condone exploiting bugs. But this, again, is not something that will give you an advantage over other people. So until it's fixed, I think it might be something fun for you guys to try out and snap some screenshots of. And also, I will be posting a link in the description below to the issue council, which I will be making a post to showing this issue and submitting this very video so that it can be fixed within the next few days. But before it's fixed, you guys can try it out for yourself and verify that it is indeed an issue. Anyway guys, without further ado, let's get into how you can actually replicate the bug. Alright, so first thing you gotta know is that it's not gonna work with all ships. I've only been able to fit up to an Aurora through, so if you've got uh, an Aurora, uh, you'll probably be able to do this. Um, the Misk Razor, the M50, the P P-52 Merlin all seem to also fit. So if you get any of these ships, you'll be able to do it. Unfortunately, if, it, if you have anything bigger, you won't be able to. It also only works with three of the six large hangars. Um, and so if, if you spawn in three through five, it's not going to work. You're going to have to try to get into six through eight over there on the other side. If you do spawn in one of the wrong hangars, it's pretty easy to fix. All you have to do is go down into the hangar, get in your ship, and then once you're free and clear of the hangar, look for the three doors that are furthest away from the spaceport. They're over here on the screen, the, the three that you can see that I'm looking at. The best way to get them to open, I found, is actually to park above them and then request the hangar. It's proximity, I believe. If it doesn't work this way, though, you can always land and then do it again, and eventually you will be able to get one of the three. If for whatever reason, though, you don't get the right hangar, you can always land quickly and take off before the doors close and reset the hangar that you get and eventually you will get the right one. So here I actually got one of the uh, six through eight ones, and I'll show you now how you can get past the no-fly zone every single time. After the doors open, there's two holes in the upper right and left-hand side here that you can see. They actually go straight through the geometry into the underside of the city. Now, once you go through, you're gonna have to very slowly, it, it, it's, it's a bit weird, uh, very slowly aim yourself downward <laughs> and very carefully go through the hole because obviously you can see here that you can get stuck pretty easily. You might lose control for a bit, just let it calm down and try to point your nose downward. Once you do, try to get free and clear of the invisible geometry. Unfortunately though, you might get stuck like I did in the first attempt because I ran into the uh, hangar that was adjacent to mine and got stuck in some of that geometry. You can't see it again, like it, there's no textures being rendered on this side, so unfortunately it's really easy to get stuck. Safest thing you can do again is just to go as deep as you can, not too deep, and then level off once you've gotten about this far down. Look around for this kind of protrusion, I guess it would be an intrusion since it's coming into the earth, and go to the underside of it. Now, as far as I could tell, pretty much every surface under here is no clipped, which means that you can pass directly through it without issue. However, I would tend to try to aim for the stuff that looks open because I haven't tested every part of this. And once you get through that, you're pretty much free and clear and into the no-fly zone. And you can pretty much fly anywhere you want. Now, the one downside to this is that once you get through, you will still die if you try to fly out of it because the no-fly zones still kill on the barrier, so you're trapped. But I think it's kind of worth it to kind of get the experience that you can't get anywhere else. Here you can see me actually flying into the Maria Hospital area, which is pretty neat. You can actually land on some of the pads. I, I caution you against doing that because they are actual landing pads that NPCs use. So if you do land on it, your ship will be taken and you'll be thrown back into the starport. To answer another question I'm sure some of you will have, can you get into those NPC ships? 
I'm pretty sure you can. Somebody was able to get into the Argo here on the pad that lands below me and fly it off. But again, you'll explode once you try leaving the no-fly zone, so be aware of that. I don't want to have this be a video that allows people to troll others. You really can't kill anybody by flying into the no-fly zone, so don't even try it. It doesn't work. You just kind of explode or... You kind of like uh, twitch around because the geometry doesn't know how to react to a ship. It's not really made for flying through. I just wanted to show this off so that you guys can kind of experience something fun before it's inevitably fixed in the next few days. And again, you guys, there is a link down below to verify that this is indeed a bug. So please visit the issue council and submit your own photos once you're able to confirm that this is in fact something that you can replicate. And this video may in fact be taken down if CIG does request that I do. I will comply with any of their requests. I utterly respect their development team. I just wanted to experience something really, really cool that all of us have kind of been begging to do, and that's fly through the buildings of the city. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, let me know by hitting the like button, and I hope to see you guys next time.